It's Friday, July 21st, 2023, and I've got three free best bets for you. Let's dive into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day as we just try to grow the bag and make some money. Last night, we had another winning day on the channel, keeping the hot streak going, keeping the momentum going. 15 and 8 run on the month of July so far. We cashed it on the Asia Wilson over 8.5 rebounds. No sweat bet there. We also cashed it on the two team hitter parlay. You guys know we've been going crazy with those. Kyle Tucker and Chaz McCormick get it done. They both got a hit. We did lose on the Cubs money line. I did think there was something a little fishy there as I kept seeing that line move and not in the direction I wanted to see it in. And sure enough, Strowman came out, got banged up. But guess what? It's all good. It happens. Two and one on the day. Not too bad. You can see our year-to-day record right here. Still over 500. We're still crushing it in the month of July. So hopefully we can finish this week strong. And I would really appreciate it if you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as we're just trying to grow and get more viewers as we try to grow our bankrolls together. Now let's dive into our first best bet. For my first best bet of the day, I'm going with a player prop, and I'm taking Lance Lynn over six and a half strikeouts. The best odds I've seen is about minus 140 on Bet Rivers. Now, I will say that you can probably take this at seven and a half as well if you want to get a better value. I do like it at six and a half. Now, you're not going to see me many times back a pitcher as an ERA over six, but one thing is for sure, Lance Lynn has some nasty strikeout stuff, especially when he's locked in. Lynn is ninth in the majors in total strikeouts. He has 133 Ks in 19 games, and he's also six in the league in strikeouts per nine innings averaging just at 11. He's gone over this total of six and a half in three of his last five games including getting 11 strikeouts against the Blue Jays earlier this month and then 16 that's right 16 strikeouts against the Mariners a few starts before that. That is what I love to see a guy like that yes he has a high ERA but that's because he's a pitch to contact guy. Most of these guys if you're not striking out batters you're getting crushed out of the park. It's kind of like a double-edged sword there so my thing is I expect him to miss some bats today because he's going against a Twins offense that strikes out a ton. He's already faced this Twins team back in April, and he was able to rack up 10 strikeouts in that matchup and six innings of work. And then the Twins are currently leading the majors in strikeouts per game. They're the only team in the major leagues right now who are averaging over 10 strikeouts per game. That's bottom barrel last in the league. Over the last three games, they've been averaging 13 strikeouts per game. So I think that because of that, all the numbers align for us to get Lance lane to be able to get several strikeouts today i would even take a ladder with this and that if you don't know what the ladder is it's like take the six and a half take the seven and a half take the eight and a half take the nine and a half i would go all the way up to ten and a half and maybe sprinkle a little bit on each step of the way up because lance lynn is the type of pitcher who can get those type of strikeouts as we've seen him before and the twins are the type of team that are going to swing and miss the bat they hit a lot of home runs but on the other side of hitting a lot of home runs are a lot of strikeouts that's why they're at the bottom of the league in strikeouts per game and i think lance Lynn is in a good position today to be able to exploit that. So give me Lance Lynn over six and a half strikeouts as my first best bet of the day. Now for my second best bet of the day, I'm going with a Nerfie and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really liking a ton of the Nerfies. Truthfully, a lot of the games on the board today. Baseball has been a toss up over the past few weeks as a lot of handicappers have been getting killed. A lot of underdogs have been winning. A lot of favorites have been losing. There have been a lot of ball pens blowing leads. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So because of that, I'm really just trying to find the best angles that I can find possible to exploit certain opportunities and I like the Nerfy today on that Red Sox Mets matchup the best odds I've seen is minus 105 on Bovada and truthfully me taking a Nerfy at minus 105 odds is pretty rare so that lets you know that there might be something up today we've got Kota Senga on the mound for the Mets and then we got Cutter Crawford going for the Red Sox and Cody Senga has been really strong in the first innings of games especially of late he's 13 and 4 on Nerfies this year and he's hit his last two in a row and then Carter Crawford on the other side for the Red Sox he's 7 and three on Murphy's this year, including his last two in a row. So I love to see two pitchers who have been really strong in Murphy's as of late. They built up a little bit of a streak. They've shown they are consistent by getting out of the first inning without giving up as many runs. So I love to see that. And then when you look on the offensive side, the Mets have been god awful in the first innings of games this year. They have an 80% Murphy success rate. They have not scored a run in the first inning in their last two matchups. While the Red Sox have been a little bit better, a 67% Murphy success rate. Typically, I don't like to back teams 
that are below 70% on the nerfy success rate. But I do believe because of how strong Kota Senga has been this year, especially in the first innings, we can get away with it today. So the odds on this one are really good value. I wouldn't go too crazy on it at minus 105, but I think we should be able to cash in on the no run first inning in the Red Sox Mets matchup as my second best bet of the day. Now for my third and final best bet of the day, I'm going with another two leg player prop hitter parlay. I probably should just do all the videos with these at this point because they've been so cash money for us. And I'm running back two DYF all-stars. That's what I'm calling them because two guys who have cashed in for us already this year, Chas McCormack, who he cashed in for us last night, and Mickey Maniak, he cashed in for us earlier this week, both to get one hit. You parlay those together, you get to minus 107 odds on FanDuel. And I really love this pick because both these guys have been swinging the bat really well this past year and they've been getting after it. And like I mentioned, they've been good to us on the channel. So we got to give them some love and they're going to run it back for us today. They're both currently on hit streaks. Maniac has a 10 game hit streak going on and McCormick has a seven game hit streak going on. They both have also been hitting over 300 in their last 30 games as well. I love to see that. And McCormack is facing a pretty good favorable pitching matchup as he goes against JP Sears today from the A's and he's had success against him in the past. He's faced him in three plate appearances. One time he walked, one time he got a double, and one time he got a home run. You can't beat that. Two for two against a pitcher. And then McCormack has also been really strong against left-handed pitchers as well this year. He's batting 339 against lefties this year. So I love to see that. And because of that, I think McCormack should be able to get us one hit today. And then Maniac on the other side, he's also had success against certain pitchers. He's batting 360 against right-handed pitchers this year. And then he's also facing Johan Oviedo from the Pirates. And that's another favorable pitching matchup because Oviedo, he gives up a lot of sharp contact. He's currently averaging over eight and a half hits per nine innings. Maniac has been swinging the bat really well, especially with Trout being out of the lineup. And Otani's pitching today for the Angels, so they're going to probably need him to step up a little bit because of the fact that Otani's playing both sides of the ball today. So because of that, I like Maniac to get one hit. I like McCormack to get one hit. Let's parlay those two together. We almost get to double our money value there as our third and final best bet of the day. Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Hopefully, we can end off the week strong and cash in. It's been a great week on the channel. We've been running it up day after day after day. If you're not in the Telegram group, make sure you're clicking the link in the bio below so this way you can join. I'll be putting out some money lines. I'll be putting out some spreads. I'll be putting out some totals. I've been doing some more research throughout the day. So this way, you guys can stay up to date on all the later picks that I like. We've been cashing in. We've been making money on the nerfies, on the innings plays. So it's been really fun inside the community. We'd love to hear some of the picks that you're taking and as always i can't wait to see you grow your money and get to that bag so make sure that you're sharing some of your picks that you're taking so this way we can all grow together i appreciate it i'll see you guys on monday and as always dictate your fate and be on the lookout for another educational youtube video that's going to be dropping this weekend right here on the channel for you guys as we try to become better betters let's get after it dictate your fate and let's make some money later